babies! Happy Friday! I can't believe that it's only a few days away from Christmas, can you? Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed my Christmas themed videos this week. I did the Tis the Season tag with my brother and I also posted a Christmas baking video with two recipes. Um, a ginger chewy ginger chocolate cookie and also peppermint bark in the same video. So if you guys haven't seen either of those or one or the other, definitely go down below and I've linked them in the bottom bar for you guys, like always. I always post um, the videos from the week in the bottom bar on Friday Favorites. So today is actually going to be Friday haul and not Friday Favorites because I don't really have anything new that's my favorite this week. Um, some of the things I purchased this week have been my favorites, so I figured might as well just do a haul for you guys and I hope that I don't think you guys are going to mind because most of you really enjoy hauls. So let's just get started. Let's start off with makeup because that's what we're here for mostly. I have Sephora first. Obviously, since I work there once in a while, I tend to shop. So I got a little tote this week and oh, I forgot. I did one shipment um, like online order because I ordered something for a friend of mine for Christmas and I ended up getting a 500 point perk when I did that order and this is by Origins. This is a really nice 500 point perk. It has um, a full size of one thing, let me show you. It has four different products. It has a full size of the Origins A Perfect World, which is a great daytime moisturizer. This has SPF 25 in it. It's super hydrating. Origins is an all natural brand. So if you want to try something different for skincare, I would really suggest them. I really like any product I've tried from them. And this is an age defense moisturizer with white tea. So it's good for all ages. And also came with a little sample, like deluxe sample of their under eye cream, which this has caffeine in it, so it gives you that nice boost under the eyes. Um, can help with puffing. And this is the Gin Ginseng, um, and it says refreshing eye cream to brighten and depuff. And it really does. I've used this on clients at Sephora. It's amazing. I suggest it all the time. It also came with a deluxe sample of the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. I have not tried this yet, but I have heard good things about it. And also a deluxe sample of the Plantscription Anti-Aging Serum. So I cannot wait to try these products out um, and add these into my skincare routine. Right now I'm using an Algenist um, night cream and I am enjoying that. I don't know if I'd purchase it though just because um, I have so many other skincare skincare samples that I want to try out like this. And one other thing I ordered offline because this was always out of stock at my Sephora and everyone always comes up to me and asks if we have it in back because I don't know it's a popular one and this is by Bare Essentials one of their loose pigmented pa bleh bleh. one of their loose pigmented eyeshadows and it's in the color Queen Phyllis. This is just like I said a loose eyeshadow. I'm gonna tr I haven't opened it yet. It's just a really gorgeous kind of glowy gold shadow and yeah I'll definitely do swatches of this soon maybe I'll do an eye look with this because I just love my kind of champagne gold colors this is a nice one for all over the lip and at my own Sephora store I got two amazing goodies and one you're going to be super excited about let's start off with that one I got the Naked Basics palette this is their newest Urban Decay's newest Naked palette and it is all matte colors which I am super excited about because I love the Naked palettes but they don't have a lot of mattes so this is a great accompanying palette to um, use with those other ones so that you have you know your matte colors as well so I love how compact it is it literally almost fits in my hand like that so so nice and tiny and sleek um, the packaging feels sort of soft but it's not like any of the other ones so I couldn't really compare it with anything with the other two palettes definitely a different texture to it and then these are the colors trying to not blind you there you go so some nice light blending like um, highlight colors and then some nice blending colors or crease colors and then a nice dark matte black so the colors are Venus Foxy WOS Naked 2 which is kind of like a more grayish brown faint and Crave Crave is the dark one here 
So I'm planning on doing a tutorial with this in the coming year. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a collab with a great friend here on YouTube. So be on the lookout for a matte tutorial the first, first week in January. Actually, it's the second week in January. Just kidding. Okay, anyways. The next thing is a YSL lip stain Rouge Pour Couture in number 17. And you guys are probably like, what the heck is your obsession with these? This is my third one of these. And the reason I actually got this one was because of Lisa Lisa D1 here on YouTube. She said on her channel that this was becoming limited edition possibly. It's just a gorgeous bubblegum pink. It was right there. I hope you can see that. And I love these because they last so long on the lips. They're super pigmented. They're still glossy, not too drying for a um, long-lasting lipstick. I'll do a quick swatch so you can see that. So it's just a really pretty kind of bubblegum bright pink. And I absolutely love it. So had to show you guys that too. And let me... Also, let me know if you want swatches of the Naked Basics palette on my blog. I'm sure a bazillion people are already doing that, but if you guys want me to do it, I will, of course, do that. Okay, next place was Ulta, and the only reason I went there was because they had 20% off coupon, and they have drugstore products, which Sephora doesn't, so I only bought drugstore products. Um, I got some more cotton pads, simple thing that I just needed that. I actually did this little mini haul in my vlog. Like, it'll come up probably a week from now, but I'll show you real quick now, too. I am in love with these new Burt's Bees 100% Natural Lip Shines. They're these lip glosses. This color is just so gorgeous. It's the perfect baby doll pink. It has a little bit under blue undertone to it as well. This is in the color Wink. And it's super glossy, but it's not sticky in the slightest. Um, I love the smell of it, too. It has, like, oh my gosh, it has such, like, a citrusy... Actually, it's more of a berry smell. I love it so much. So they do have probably like five more colors. Oh my god, excuse me. <laughs> they probably have about like four or five more colors of this. So they're about $6.99 at Ulta. I'm sure you might be able to find them cheaper at Target if you can find them. Um, but I had 20% off, so I got one of them. I actually found out about those through a client at Sephora when I was doing her makeup. She pulled that out. I'm like, what is that? Okay, right now I am wearing this lipstick, this Lip Butter by Revlon. Um, you guys know I'm in love with the Lip Butters by Revlon. I didn't have this color though, and this is in Raspberry Pie. It's just a gorgeous raspberry color, a little bit darker than Berry Smoothie is. I'll do a quick swatch too. So it's that right there. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. As you can see on my lips, I'm loving it. Much more purpley berry color. And then I got two lip liners by Rimmel, and these are their um, retractable liners. I got the color Addiction, which is more of like a nudie brown, and then also Rapture, which is more of a berry color. I'll swatch those real quick as well. I really like that they're retractable. And I've heard good things about these on YouTube, so figured I'd try them out. I really needed more lip liners because I don't have very much of a selection when it comes to lip liners. So this one here is Rapture, and this one here is the Nude, and the Nude is called Addiction. I also picked up this NYX Dramatic Sparkle Studio Effects little glitter liner. I'm not going to use it for liner though because I have an amazing one by Urban Decay that I like. I'm actually going to use this all over the lid for super sparkle eyes. This week at Sephora we have to do gold gold sparkle eyes, um, so I thought I'd pick this up. And this is in the color Crystal Gold. It's really sparkly. Okay, so next I went to my second favorite place in the world, other than Sephora, is Victoria's Secret. Love it there. I actually had one of those little rewards cards. Um, had ten, it ended up being $10, but that's better than 5 I guess. And then also I had a $10 off, so I ended up getting $20 off my purchase. And I just bought a lot of undies so I don't know if you really want to see those um, I also got this adorable sparkly sequin clutch for only ten dollars for making a uh, another purchase and inside it also has a lip gloss zoom into that so it's super sequiny and gorgeous and then it's a pretty decent sized pocket and inside is the Shiny Kiss flavored gloss. 
and this is in the color Strawberry Fizz. So I also purchased another one of their lipsticks in the color Incognito. Um, it's just a gorgeous nude. Guys, I don't need more lip products, I know this, but I'm obsessed with them. Um, look at this nude. OMG, I'm in love. Let's do a swatch. Can't wait to wear this. So excited. Love this packaging. I've said that before. And this is it right there. Incognito. Gorgeous. I've heard a lot of good things about this. Pink So Foxy has spoken about it. A couple other people. I'm pretty sure Lisa Lisa D1 again talked about these, so I love them. Okay, I'll real quickly show you some of the patterns of the underwear. They're not really that exciting. They're the cotton with the lace at the top. I don't know if you can see that. It just has a lace. So I got a plain pink, a striped one that looks like that, black and white one that looks like that, a plain white lace one, and I just needed some regular underwear. And then one that has hot pink lace and just says Victoria's Secret on it. So yeah, got some undies. And then this shirt, I was so excited. They had their Colligate um, collection 40% off just for one day. And so I got this sh like crop shirt. It says number one, love pink on the back. And it's ASU, obviously, because I go to ASU. And there is the Sun Devil. So yeah, it's really cool. I love it. I think it's going to look really cute. Very sporty. Next is Forever 21, and this is the last thing. I got two sweaters, a um, bag, which I'm going to show you first. I'm in love with this bag. And then a um, little makeup bag. So first off, this one was $32.80. And it has spikes all the way around the bottom and sides. And they're gold spikes. And then it's this kind of quilted design on both sides. It's just one big pocket. It has this little tassel too. Just one big pocket. I think it's perfect for work. And I just love the chain too. The chain is just like kind of Chanel looking to me. You see that? And it's nice and long so you can do this crossbody. I was attracted to the spikes and the chain. It's just awesome. Love this bag so much. Perfect perfect for me. Love it. This is what I went in for. I am in love with this sweater. I saw it online. I've actually seen some people wear it as well but in the with blue hearts and the gray but I actually like it better with the pink. Of course I do. So it had, it's a really soft soft snuggly material and it's gray with pink hearts all the way around it and on the sleeves and everywhere. It's sort of reversible, but you can, like you can see on the inside, it has gray hearts and pink. But then you would see the lining if you reversed it. So I guess you could if you wanted to, but I think it's super cute. And that was $22.80, I believe. Yeah, $22.80. Got that in a large. And here's the adorable little makeup bag. It's a mint green with gold metallic spots spots dots I don't know why is this so hard for me to think of polka dots wow blonde moment sorry okay and so the zipper is even mint green <laughs> so exciting and nice big pocket single pocket this was 480 and this was all sold out online they have the pink with gold metallic still online they also had it in the store but I wanted the mint one really bad Okay, Sadie, if you're watching, you're going to freak out when I show this. You're just going to freak. I know it. Because I freaked when I saw this. A Barbie sweatshirt. Barbie! Owned by Sadie. I mean Sadie Kins 21. Hi, Sadie, the other Sadie. <laughs> I have another friend named Sadie. Anyways, it's a Barbie sweatshirt. Oh, my God. It just says Barbie on it with a big heart. And it has like gold little polka dots in the background and Barbie's head. And it's a hoodie and it's super soft and comfortable and I love it. I'll show you guys a picture of what I looked like wearing it and I'm in love with it. So yeah, and this one was 20 I think. 20 to 80 also. It's kind of expensive for this sweater, but whatever. It's really soft and comfortable. Okay, if I'm in a different position, it's because I forgot to film two things. <laughs> so I'm back. Um, first thing is they had $8 candles this week at Bath & Body Works. Um, I think it was this weekend, 
and I got a bunch for presents. Um, I got Toffee Crunch, Peppermint Mocha, and Twisted Peppermint, just like holiday scents. I'm not going to show you all of those because I've pretty much talked those to death, I feel like. Um, but I did want to share these new candles with you guys. These are like the summery, well I guess it would be spring because we're going to go winter to spring. Anyways, they're really cool. They have like a Paris one, a London one, a New York one, and this one is the Meet Me in Tahiti one. And I really, to be honest with you, I wasn't a big fan of all the other ones. The Paris one was pretty good. Not enough for me to buy though, even though it's cute because I love Paris. You guys know that. The New York one smelled like apples, which was, you know, like the big apple, which I like that smell, but I already have an apple candle, so I decided to pass on that also. Anyways, I'm rambling. I really like the lid of these. Isn't that cool? And so yeah, this is the Meet Me in Tahiti one with a gorgeous beach scene. And this is in White Sands and Vanilla Flower. Oh my gosh. Oh, it just smells like a tropical vacation. Who wants to meet me in Tahiti? Because I think that's where I would need to go. <laughs> um, but the description is, the lush fragrance of Tahitian petals, Monet blossoms, and vanilla. Let's run away to paradise. Heck yes, so eight bucks for that. And I'm not gonna burn that till like springtime. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention were these amazing lipsticks from my good friend Alex. Thank you so much again, Alex. Um, I will link her channel below. She has an amazing jewelry site that I've mentioned in the past, Alex Design. Um, so yeah, I'll link that too. But these are the Viva La Diva matte lipsticks. And there you can see, and, I, and I'll show you what the packaging is to die for. It's so gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that just so beautiful? And then the colors on the bottom. And this one is the Fashion Police one. And these are matte lipsticks, but they have like some kind of nourishing oils in it that does not make your lips dry out. When I tried these on, I was so amazed. And this is just like a really, really bright coral. I'll swatch it. Looks like that. And then the other one is a Valley Doll, and it's just like a bright, bright pink. It's gorgeous. Same kind of packaging with the color on the bottom. That's what it looks like in the tube. And there's the color right there. Right there. So both of them are gorgeous. These are more probably spring lipsticks, so I'll be wearing them a lot more probably in the spring, but I'm super excited about them. So thanks so much again, Alex, for sending these my way. Um, and all of you Americans like me, we cannot find these here in America, sadly. So yeah, that's why I'm very lucky that she sent me this. You might find them online. I don't know if Chi Chi is the name of the brand or Viva La Diva Matte Lipstick is the brand, but Chi Chi is possibly the brand. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my haul today and make sure to have a very, very Merry Christmas because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be posting. The only thing I'll probably be posting before Christmas is another vlog. So I'll be seeing you again soon after the holiday. Um, be, I'll be doing a few tutorials because I know that I've been slacking on doing tutorials lately. It just takes so much longer to film for me. So I'll be doing a tutorial soon for New Year's Eve. And yeah. Okay, see you later. I just want you for my own. More than you will ever know. Make my wish come true. In Tahiti. All I want for Christmas is you.